We all know someone affected by a health issue or a disease, perhaps a relative or a friend. The life sciences industry develops the medicines and tools that allow healthcare providers like nurses, doctors and EMTs to help sick people. I make therapeutic drugs for um, children with genetic disorders. We work hard every day to create a high quality product um, to help children who would otherwise have a poor quality of life. Life science products include both biology and chemistry-based medicines used to treat illness and disease. Medical devices used to improve health conditions, such as insulin pumps and bionic limbs. And laboratory tools used to aid medical research, such as DNA sequencers. Yet another area of the industry seeks to harness biology-based solutions in the development of agriculture and alternative fuels and industrial materials. Everyone who works in the industry is committed to a common goal, developing useful technologies and treatments for people in need. The diseases that we work on are very common diseases, but also very complicated diseases. So you will likely know somebody who's affected by something that you're working on, Crohn's or rheumatoid arthritis, and it makes it that much more real for you when you go into work every day because you're working on these very specific diseases that affect people in your own life. Let's look at how this industry works. In the life sciences, products start with an idea, sometimes at a local college or university. The idea can be researched further at a company. It gets developed into a potential product. The product goes through clinical trials to make sure it is safe and effective. Next, the product gets government approval. Then, the company has to manufacture the product and often needs a bigger team to help get that product to people around the world. Can you see yourself in this industry? Careers generally fit into three broad categories, research, manufacturing, and corporate operations. All three kinds of jobs are growing at a fast rate. Research is not about sitting alone at a microscope. Research in the life sciences is a collaborative process where teamwork and good communication skills are very important in addition to technical expertise. I'm a tissue culture specialist, so I'm working with the cells, with cancer cells, whether it's breast cancer or right now ovarian cancer that were derived from actual people. It's very meaningful. Manufacturing jobs in Massachusetts companies produce medical devices, such as stents to improve cardiovascular function, vaccines to prevent the spread of disease, and various kinds of therapeutic medicines. I can see the connection in my job every day. Uh, every day we harvest material and, and I know that the bag I'm holding will get bottled and go to our patients. Our patients come in sometimes and tell us how much we've, uh, we've done to help them and uh, extend their lives and, and give quality to their lives. So it's really rewarding um, hearing that. You make a difference every day. For every science-based job in the industry, there's a non-science job supporting it. As companies grow, they need talented people with expertise in finance, law, marketing and communications, and supporting the needs of patients, to name just a few specialties. Some people in these positions will have science degrees, but many others will not. I think it's really great to be in the life science industry because there's cutting edge opportunities, especially in the Massachusetts area. You may not know it, but Massachusetts is home to over 900 life sciences companies. It's considered the best place in the world for life sciences research and development. Boston is a very particular place. There's so much innovation here, especially in the biotech and pharma field. The work of the people in the life sciences in Massachusetts is having an impact on patients around the world. Massachusetts companies have developed medicines aimed at providing needed treatments for over 1.5 billion people worldwide, and over 1,500 other new medicines are being researched to help people suffering from 360 different kinds of diseases and ailments, from Alzheimer's disease to Zika virus, from ALS to cancer, this industry has grown rapidly in Massachusetts. In the past decade, jobs have increased by about 20%. At this rate, by the time a freshman in high school graduates from college, there will be 15,000 more jobs in the life sciences in Massachusetts waiting to be filled. The jobs also pay well, on average more than 50% higher than the state average salary. But you'll get much more than a job with your first position in life sciences you'll be part of an industry that saves lives. This for me is a, it opened the doors for me to do something that I like, something that could help me support my family, and um, something that can help someone else. I am able to go into work every day and be able to talk about what's going to make 
a difference in a patient's life. You have uh, opportunity to actually impact people's lives and saves people's lives. So this is pretty unique and amazing. I'm able to make a difference and there's a bigger cause to what you're doing day to day and that provides additional motivation. Every day adds new challenges, new obstacles, new learning opportunities. <laughs> it's pretty intense.